The Mazda Renewable Energy Desalination Project site starts like any desalination plant. Seawater is abstracted and mixed with sodium hypochlorite. and then pumped to a brake tank. The water is tested for turbidity, conductivity, pH, temperature, and chlorine in order to verify the quality of the water. It's then distributed to our four partners, varying from 10 cubic meters to more than 100 cubic meters per hour, based on the requirements of the particular plant, hence the different sized pipes. Our four partners' plans can be seen here. Abengoa from Spain, Suez Environment from France, Veolia, also from France, and Trevi Systems from the United States. Each of our partners required different auxiliary support, from hot water to electric power. We also have a site office for our partners to use, including on-site laboratories and a conference boardroom. Abengoa, Suez Environment, and Veolia use reverse osmosis technology, whereas Trevi Systems uses forward osmosis. Let's take a closer look at our partner's plants. Closest to our pump station is the Veolia plant. They're running a reverse osmosis system and state-of-the-art membrane technology and have a special center port configuration. A combination of dissolved air flotation and a gravity dual media filter in a single unit reduces pressure loss and required civil works. They use Osmorex Energy Recovery Device, which uses energy from the brine to pressurize the feed, lowering the required energy for feed pressurization. Next to them is the Suez plant. They too also use reverse osmosis technology. They further treat the brine with liquid ionic membrane technology, leading to an increased recovery ratio and reduced electric energy consumption. They, like our next two partners, have a requirement for hot water. The heat is used for the brine treatment process. It is produced on site by a large boiler and provided by Mazdar. Past the boiler and next to our potable water tanks is the plant of Trevi Systems. Different to the other partners, they are running a low-pressure forward osmosis system. This emerging technology promises high suitability for challenging feed waters. Our final partner, Abengoa, uses reverse osmosis and a membrane distillation technology to further treat the brine that's produced. They use a pre-treatment system using an energy-efficient self-cleaning filtration system. A low dosage of coagulant is used to reduce the amount of produced sludge. As with all desalination plants, a byproduct of the process is the extracted brine. This is pumped to a collected common pit before being discharged back to sea via a pipe below the seabed. Mazdar has carried out an environmental impact assessment study and submitted it to the Environmental Agency of Abu Dhabi to ensure minimal to no impact on the surrounding area and seawater. Now the potable water that our partners have produced is pumped to a Mazdar inspection facility. There it is measured for quantitative and qualitative purposes to ensure it is compliant with the national standards for potable water. Finally, it is collected in a common potable water tank and from there distributed to the potable water network. <music>